Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. So today I'm going to be doing another MAC limited edition collection. This one is the summer 2021 collection. This is the MAC Botanic Panic summer collection. We're going to be re reviewing it and showing you guys what I picked up and showing you guys everything on the collection. So I did pick up a few pieces out of it and we're just going to be testing them out today, doing some swatches. And if you are new here, I always review MAC limited edition collections. So if you are a MAC fan, then you definitely want to subscribe because I do do a lot of MAC on my channel, talk about a lot of MACs. So yes, I hope you guys enjoy this one and let's just jump straight into it. This is MAC's summer collection of 2021 and you guys know I had to get it. So I did pick up two out of the five lipsticks because I actually do have two um, of the lipsticks already from different packaging. And yeah, so I picked up two of these lipsticks, which I believe are new. And then we picked up one out of the two extra dimension skin finishes and then the Botanic Panic eyeshadow palettes. This is what it looks like. Beautiful kind of tie dye petal packaging. Absolutely love the yellow. And this comes with 12 eyeshadows. And this one I absolutely love. It has a glossy, um, packaging on the front and then it's more matte on the back. Does this scream summer or spring or a little bit of both? It has all these beautiful, you know, bright tones and some neutrals and I'm really excited to play around with these blues, maybe some of the pinks, has some purples in there. It's really, really, really pretty. So I'm gonna include some swatches of this right now as well, you guys can see. So we have Aqua, which is a matte blue. We have Marigold Digger, which is like a greeny gold and then we have floral agogo which is a nice copper shimmer all fawns no rose which is a matte and that's more of like a true pale brown orange surf usa which is a turquoise metallic blue royal woo which is a matte yellow picnic panic which is a green like a lime green botanic panic which is a nice red light nude shade this one's magnetic field keep on twinkling is a nice shimmery icy pink jam session is a nice purple like a violet purple and then magic mushroom is a more deeper grape purple the first shade i'm going to go into is this one right here which is the yellow this one is called royal woo I just want a little bit of yellow to peek through when I do apply the other colors. And this without a base, because I wanna see how these perform without an eyeshadow base, is already going on super, super nicely. But I feel like I'm losing that yellow. It's almost turning brown when you rock it in the crease, which is weird. I think next I'm just gonna dive straight into the metallic blue because that one is calling my name and that one is called Surf USA and I'm just packing that all over the lid. So it's a shame because it's supposed to be shimmery and it's actually coming out more matte, which is weird. Um, don't know why that is. And it's almost kind of chalky. I have to keep going back in to pack it on. What do you guys think? Like I'm seeing absolutely no shimmer and it is really sheer and patchy. It's a really nice shade, but it's almost like a wash of color. Can you guys see that? It is looking really patchy and I'm really going in to pack it on. So I am gonna take a little bit of the purple right here. This one is called Jam Session. I'm taking that same crease brush and putting that in the crease. Mixing the blue and purple together. Now, I have to say, I feel like all of these eyeshadows are really chalky and patchy and like barely have pigment. Like barely have pigment. They are almost like just a wash of color. Like, look at that. I don't even see the purple. To say first impressions, I'm not really a fan of this palette. And you get a lot of fallout as well. It's just not the typical MAC eyeshadow formula. This is a completely different formula. It's very odd. So next I'm gonna go into a little bit of this purple right here. This one is called Magic Mushroom. I'm just going to pack that on the outer V. It's almost taking off the eyeshadow every time you try to work with it. I'm just gonna flip the brush and pack it on and see. And they are not shimmery whatsoever. It's almost like everything is coming out like a matte. Next, let's go into Aqua and maybe just blow that out in the crease. Can't even see that shade as well. 
I mean, I'm just having fun with the colors, but I can see the performance is not there. It, like from this to this, I don't know. Let me go in with this nice olive. Olive is called Marigold Digger, Marigold Digger. Like even that is so chalky. Where's the shimmer? Where's the pigment? And there is so much fallout. I am, this is the first time I think I'm really disappoint, disappointed in one of Max formulas. It is terrible. This is terrible. And I'm really just gonna like pack it in. So I'm just gonna take that blue with my finger and you can see it's like looking like a mat. I'm just gonna pack it on. Okay, I think it's way better with your fingers then. There we go. So I think these don't work with brushes or you might have to use a really good eyeshadow base but it's good to actually test it without an eyeshadow base because then you get to see the true formula. I do feel like I have to keep going back in, packing it on, I lose colour when I blend. They're very very sheer and chalky, they're very drying, very drying, there's no creaminess when I go in with my fingers. Um, it definitely looks better with my fingers anyway but it's not enough to be the price that it is so i'm just gonna take my fingers for the rest i think i'm gonna take two of these purples again and um, yeah i mean they are very very sheer i'm gonna go into the icy pink that's the last shade i think i'll just use and this one is called keep on twinkling it's definitely a really nice icy pink it's not as shimmery it's more like a satin finish but it definitely adds something to the look i feel like it just brightens up the look a little bit for the lower lash line i'm going to go into the lime green which is this one right here and i'm just going to apply that heavily on my lower lash line this one is called picnic panic oh it's kind of like a a yellow look it's looking really yellow on me like a chartreuse yellow green let's take a little bit of the red as well i'm just trying to use every color this one is called botanic panic and this one's more like an orangey red this one's cute as well let's see if i can actually pull off all these colors So this is what it looks like. Um, of course, the colours all don't go together, but it is just to test the eyeshadows out. So I'm going to leave it at that and go into the blush now. So it is called the Extra Dimension Skin Finish, but technically this colour is more like a blush colour. And I got mine in the shade Royal Flush. And the other one was called Fleur Shore, which is more of like a highlight shade, which just reminds me of Double Gleam by MAC. So if you have that, then you don't need to get that one. And Royal Flush, this is the packaging, first of all. Really, really, really beautiful baby pink packaging with the kind of petals, watercolours on it. And this is what Royal Flush looks like. It is described as a golden plum by MAC. And it really does look like that. It's a beautiful plum shade and it does have some shimmer in there so it is going to add a little bit of a glow so i'm going to go straight into it i have nothing on my cheeks except bronzer and let's do a swatch first as well i can see a lot of gold shimmer in there it's a really really nice plum blush with gold shimmer that is absolutely beautiful so i'm such a fan of the extra dimension blushes as well so let's just see if it's going to give me the glow as well absolutely love it it has just the right amount of a plumish kind of tone and adds the glow as well so you wouldn't even need to add, add highlighter that is beautiful on the cheeks i think this could suit a range of skin tones as well and it has just the right amount of subtleness there's no glitter in there and it's not too shimmery either it just provides you with a little bit of a sheen I'm such a fan of this. I think it looks beautiful. I feel like you can keep on adding it, layering it, and it's not going to look too much. Look at that. What do we think? I love it. I think it looks so pretty. Definitely adds a nice flush and adds the glow as well. So again, that one is Royal Flush, which is described as a golden plum. And I think it really, really just lifts up the cheeks. 
I think it's really, really pretty, right? What do you guys think? Let me know. Um, I definitely am a fan of this more than the Ashra palette. The Ashra palette, I don't think I like and I don't think I'd recommend, but this, I think if you had to get one thing, we'll see about the lipsticks, but for now, I definitely recommend this. I think it would look stunning on everyone. Really, really like that, really like that. Um, really, really nice shade as well. It definitely looks kind of unique. But once it goes on, this is what it looks like. And I think it's very wearable. So next, moving on into the lipsticks, I do have the two from the Botanic Panic collection. So these are both mattes. And the first shade I have is Ladi Dahlia. A lilac with watercolors and petals again. Beautiful. And this is Ladi Dahlia. This one, let's just swatch it. Ooh, oh, beautiful kind of pinky, I don't know, coral? It doesn't really have orange in there. It's definitely more of like just a true pink. Um, this one on Mac's website is described as a mid-tone pink. So I'm just gonna go straight into this one. la di Dahlia, let's see. Ooh, this one is stunning. This one is beautiful. It definitely is very pink. So I think um, if you are fair, it's gonna pop quite a bit as it does on myself. But if you are a little bit darker than me, this could be a little more wearable for you. This is a beautiful, beautiful matte pink. I mean, if you do tone down the eyes, take away the eyes, it can be a very great everyday pink lip for summer. Very bold, very pretty. Um, and I absolutely love that it's a matte as well. Looks super, super, super flattering. So this one again is called Ladi Dahlia. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Moving on into the next shade, we have Forget Me Naughty. And this one is such a fun one. Again, same packaging. This one's also a matte and this one is a true lilac. Absolutely beautiful shade. This one Mac describes as a lilac. This one is really pigmented. Look at that. I know it's not for everyone. It's not, you know, a wearable shade, but Let's just put it on and see for the fun of it, how it's gonna look. And I think even you can make it wearable if you use a dark lip liner, like a deep burgundy or purple lip liner, feather it in and do this. It would be a really, really, really pretty ombre purple lip. So you can make it wearable if you do feather it in with a really darker lip liner. That pink one did stain a little bit, so let's see. This is very, very pigmented for a purple. Wow, am I the only one that really likes this? I really like it. So colors like this will make your teeth look a little bit more yellow, but I mean, I think it's such a pretty, pretty purple. I think it can be wearable if you make it work. You can, you know, maybe use a light lip gloss on top to tone it down, a lighter pink lipstick to tone it down. But if you are into these colors as well, it's a beautiful, creamy, opaque lilac. It does stay true to how it looks as well which is beautiful. So again, this one is Forget Me Naughty. I really, really like this one. I think I might even like it more than the Ladi Dahlia one because it's just super flattering. I feel like without the eyes, I can still do just a simple wing and mascara and rock this purple lip. So again, this one's Forget Me Naughty. Let me know what you guys think of this one as well. Which one out of the two was your favorite? So there is also Skew and Ruby Woo in the collection and I'm just gonna swatch them right now. So this one is Skew. This is from different limited edition packaging, but it's the same shade. So if you guys do wanna get Skew, you can get it in this Botanic Panic collection. And this is the shade of Skew. Also in the collection is Ruby Woo, which is a famous matte red lipstick from MAC. And this is a permanent shade as well. So you don't have to just get it in this collection. It is permanent, even if you do miss out in the limited edition packaging. So you guys saw four out of the five lipsticks swatched. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely have to say now that I have my hair down there and everything, um, I absolutely love this purple lip. I think it's my favorite out of all of them, out of everything, even more than the blush. I really like this purple lip. I don't know what it is, but if I had to recommend something, I definitely say get the blush and maybe one lipstick, two lipsticks. I definitely recommend these. I wouldn't recommend the eyeshadow palette just because it's very dry. It's very chalky. It got patchy. The more you blend, the more it wasn't packing on. I just think it wasn't worth the price. I think, yeah, it was very chalky, very patchy and 
I am really disappointed in the palette because it looks beautiful, but the quality was not there. There was a lot of fallout. It's very dry, like I said, and it's just honestly not worth it. I don't know what happened with this palette. Even the shimmers were coming out matte and you guys saw they were very sheer as well and there wasn't like any pigment in them. So I don't know if it's supposed to be just a wash off color, but very disappointed in it. Uh, but I will say the lipsticks are absolutely beautiful. You can see really, really, really stunning shades. The blush, I absolutely love. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if it was helpful. Let me know if you're gonna pick anything up. What was your favorite out of everything that I showed? And I hope everyone is also staying safe. So give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.